and welcome to more Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond! This is actually my second attempt at recording this episode. I tried to record it a, a while ago, but it looks like my old capture card finally kicked the bucket. It just was freezing up every few seconds. It was a nightmare. Couldn't record anything with it, so I finally bought a new one and we are good to go. I don't think it's gonna look much different, but hopefully I'll have less issues with it crashing and crud like that. So, fingers crossed, here's the first video with the new capture card. So we're here in the crag area still, and the goal for today is gonna be what I kinda set out a while ago, is we're finally, finally gonna go and try to make a bunch of friends here. If we go look at our friends list, there's actually a lot to get. You can see in the cove area and the arbor area, we've got over 30 friends. Crag area, we've got 11, so there's a whole bunch to get, and a lot of them are still question marks. We don't even know who they're going to be. But I figure the place we should start, we're already here in the Coliseum area, so let's go ahead and just talk to everyone who's here and see if we can befriend them. <laughs> like Garchomp, what do you want? If you want a battle, I might agree to that. Who would I want against Garchomp? Probably not Snivy. Should I just use Oshawa like I do for everything? I guess we'll do that. I don't know who would really be the, be the best here, but I guess we'll go with Oshawa just because I have so many upgrades for him. And speaking of upgrades, I do want to try to get, like, all the upgrades before I go back to that Battle Coliseum or whatever. So we'll do that again, the Battle Tournament. So we'll do that again, but I want to get really strong for that, because that card was a lot harder than I was expecting. And it looks like right up to start, my dash combo didn't do that much, and he did some big damage to us. Goes for some crazy attack right there. Do a Razor Shell, and then we get smacked in the face. Okay, we've got Beartick who wants to help us out. So let's go ahead and use him here. Hopefully he can reach. Oh, he's huge! Get him! Oh, that was some good damage, but we're still pretty close to dying. I don't think we can take any more hits here. We gotta dodge. I'm gonna go for some more long-range stuff, because it looks like he's more of a close-range attacker aside from his dash. And as soon as I say that, he starts shooting blue balls at me. Okay, okay. Watch out. Watch out! Let's get near. I think one Razor Shell will do it. And we got him. That was close, but once we figured out we just kind of want to keep our distance, it mostly worked out. And I guess Bear Tick really did that for us. Hmm, you're tougher than you look! Okay, well, we befriended Garchomp. I don't expect anyone to be a tougher battle than him. So let's go ahead and, I guess, grab this item over here. We're probably gonna have to collect a lot of items uh, throughout this playthrough, so I'll just grab everything I can. We've got Lucario over here. I can't remember if we've befriended him yet, so let's go and see. Uh, I don't see the green icon thing, so I think we need to get him. I want to see what the ones who saved Pokepark can do. Will you have a battle with me? Sure, Lucario. Let's go get to it. Honestly, probably should've used Tepig for this. If we lose, I'll go ahead and use him. There's also a Vast White Quill back there, so I'll try to get that. But I'm gonna try to uh, take a little bit of time. Let's play it smart, let's see what attacks he has. So he's got his Aura Sphere there, and some kind of tackle attack. Okay, my, my Razor Shield does not knock him down, but it looks like he's a little bit, oh, never mind. I was gonna say he's kind of vulnerable after we hit him, but it looks like his tackle doesn't do that much damage, so if he actually does hit me with it, I don't really care too much. So get back here, Lucario, don't run away from me. Got to dodge the Aura Sphere. That's probably... Ow! I was gonna say that's probably his stronger attack, but that didn't do that much either. So we'll dodge his tackle. You know, with the Razor Shell. I'm just gonna go in, guys. Oh, dodge his tackle again somehow right there. I think two more attacks will do it. Can we dodge the Aura Sphere? Oh, he shot it up at us while we were jumping. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought two more, but no, just one more will do the trick there. So we got Lucario. There's a Vast White Quill back there I want to go grab. And we've got Breloom as well. So, I want to try to use Tepic against Breloom. I mean, they're a grass type. They're also part fighting, but we don't really have anything on our team good against fighting type. We don't have any psychic or flying or anything like that. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and get Tepic out if we can find them. There they are. Okay, so there's Breloom. So, let's go get Tepic out and let's go do a battle. Come here, Breloom. I am assuming that we're going to battle, but we're in the Battle Coliseum, so probably these are all going to be battles. I'm training because I want to be in the battle tournament someday, but it's hard to get excited about running by myself. Look how tiny his little T-Rex arms are, dude. Will you be in my... Oh, it is Chase. Okay, I'll still try Tepig, but... Well, this should have been Snivy. Let's just see if we can chase down a Breloom. I mean, we got max speed on everyone, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll just go and see if we can chase him down. I'll use the Shaken Run. What the crud? He's going for some Bullet Seed, it looks like, right there. And when he's going for Bullet Seed, he's kind of immobile, so... Yeah, we can catch up to him no problem. I think we still have to get Hydreigon, but after that, I think we're done with this little little side area here. Oh, ow! I'm the one who ended up hurt. You're really fast. Be my opponent again sometime. Okay, Breloom. Well, we got him. There's also an item behind him, so let's go get that as well. If I could actually walk into it, that'd be great. Okay, we get more roof tiles. I don't know. Maybe we gotta repair someone's roof. Uh, there's Hydreigon. Okay, so let's go talk to them. 
I guess we'll stay on Tepig for now, but I'm guessing this is going to be a battle. We probably don't want to be on Tepig. Well, let's find out. Oh, excuse me. I can't talk to him. He's trying to breathe fire on me, dude. Okay, I'm just going to... I can't even dash into him because he's way up there. Can I heat crash him? There we go. Take that, you crud. Uh, oh, wait. I saw talk. No, don't you zap me, dude. I saw a talk option. There we go. No, not you, Breloom. No. Oh, there we go. You, huh? Did you come to laugh at me? Ha <laughs> ha. What, you're challenging me to a battle? Sure. All right, this time you guys are going down. The only problem is I can't hit him that well, but I guess Heat Crash kind of works. I think my dash is just going to go right under him, though. Let's just dodge to the side here. He's probably going to go for some crazy crud. Uh, he zapped me and knocked me off the cliff. Okay, I was trying to, like, go under him, but that didn't work out very well. Ow, crud. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Tepig. You gotta jump higher, buddy. I guess it doesn't help that he's got the high ground and we're just way down here. Can I get to him in time? Come on! He crash misses! <laughs> no! He's going for some kind of raining attack. That did not do much. Geo dude, probably not gonna help out that much. This is the wrong battle for Tepig. Oh my gosh, Geo dude just misses. Just just defeat me. Just kill me, dude. <laughs> I need to swap over to Oshawa for sure. Come on. There we go. Ran into his attack on purpose. We will try again. It's not as Tepic. One attack did that little chunk of damage. Geodude misses. What a joke. I don't know. Maybe I should actually use Pikachu for this battle, but you crutter. Can we attack him and then we can talk to him, right? No? Well, you gotta talk quick. There's not a big window for you to talk to him. Or maybe you just can't talk to him while he's attacking. I don't know how it works. There we go. We talked to him. All right. Hydreigon. Oshawott, let's see how this goes. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to use my water gun. Actually, the leaf tornado on, on Snivy might be good here just because it hits so high in the air. That didn't do crud. We took almost half of our health from one attack. Gonna have to hopefully get some razor shell instead. Come on, that didn't do crud either. <laughs> well, this is not a good battle for Oshawott either, but we at least knock him down. As long as we can dodge his attacks, we'll be fine, but we gotta dodge a lot of times <laughs> before we can actually kill the guy. So one razor shell. And two Razor Shells knocks him down. The problem with Razor Shell, as I always point out, is it has a big recovery time. So you gotta be very careful. And we get hit by fire. Thankfully, that's not very good against Oshawott. It's really if we get hit by the electric attack that we're gonna be in trouble. Dodge over that one. Let's go hit him. Come on, quickly. No, okay. <laughs> like the back end of the Razor Shell got him. I gotta hit him before he hits me. So watch out once again. No electric attacks. Crud! He got me. I tried to jump it, but I was too slow. Okay, maybe Pikachu? I think Pikachu won't be weak to any of his attacks, so that's a benefit at least. Well, so much for Garchomp being the toughest battle. This is round three right here. Let's see how you do, Pikachu. So, first off, Pikachu is very fast, so I'm gonna have hopefully not too much trouble dodging his crud. Let's go ahead and zap him. So, as expected, that doesn't really do that much, but as long as dodging is easy because Pikachu is so fast, maybe it doesn't really matter that much that we're not actually hurting him that bad. It's gonna be a slow and steady battle. Big downside is Pikachu has very, very little HP, so if I actually do get hit, probably not going to end so well for me. I just wanted to see how Iron Tail does. Iron Tail recovers much, much more quickly than uh, Oshawott's Razor Shell does. So we actually have a reasonable shot at just, like, getting in there, attacking, and then getting back out. I got zapped right there. I kind of jumped at the wrong time. Oh, that actually completely did nothing. Okay, let's try again with the uh, Iron Tail here. There we go. We actually got him stunned a little bit. Oh, three Iron Tails will knock him down. And because Pikachu's so fast at recovering, we can actually hit him while he's on the ground. So dodge that electric. Crud! I did not mean to side dash right there. That screwed up my jump timing. He's going for electric a lot, which is kind of surprising against Pikachu. Okay, so two hit staggers, three hit knocks down, hit him twice. I don't know why I'm charging electric attacks right now. I probably could just let go of that. Oh, watch out, watch out. Okay, there goes the fire. And yeah, I mean, we're not doing that much to him, but the fact that we can knock him down and uh, get a couple swings in is nice, but the big thing is that Pikachu's not weak to any of his attacks like the other Pokemon are, so we don't have to worry about just, like, getting huge damage dealt to us. There you go, down goes Hydreigon, Pikachu with this tiny HP pool, still doing just fine, even though I think I got hit twice there. Arg, why can't I win? No, no, I know why, I just don't want to admit it. The truth is, you're very strong. And there we go, we befriended Hydreigon, and I believe he's our 15th friend for the area. I'll never forgive you if you lose to someone else after beating me. Alright guys, you heard the guy, we just gotta not lose a single battle for the rest of this entire playthrough. Yeah, so who else do we need here in the Crag area? We still need Bastiodon, Darumaka, those guys are on the other side of this area, I think. We also need Scraggy, Bellossom, a whole bunch of question marks, already got Embor, and down here we got Sock and Delibird. 
Okay, so let's go look for Sock and Delibird, I guess. And we might have to go back to the other part of the crag area to try to get some friends over there as well. Or, wait, do we already befriend Glaceon? What the crud? I wanted bitter roots. Yep, we've already got them as a friend. Okay. 216 berries for six bitter roots. Do I have that? I do not have that. Okay. I do get some candles, though. Don't mind me, guys. Just gonna walk around and look for friends. Kumchu right here wants gleaming coins. Let me talk to him and see if I could actually, if I have those, because berries are great. Uh, 184 berries for two gleaming coins. Do I have that? Gosh dang it, I never have the items that I need, but I do have... Oh, Pikachu, get the... Don't walk around it. We get more candles. Okay, let's go talk to Delibird here. They're one of the ones we do need to befriend. Hello, do you know where my snowball is? It's round, white, and smooth. Oh, right, I think I tried to get this to him a long time ago, but I goofed somehow. We got a paddle fan from something. So yeah, the snowball's right here, but I think the problem is if I run into it too hard, I think it breaks, or if I drop it, it breaks, something like that. So I'm gonna walk it back nice and slow with Pikachu here. I know Tepic's a little bit faster, but... I don't know, man. I'm just gonna do it with Pikachu. Look at those ears wiggle. Oh, Daily Bird, I've got a delivery for you. Oh, I think the problem was I tried to jump last time or something like that and it threw it. I don't remember what the problem was, but somehow I broke it. I remember that. But let's go talk to Daily Bird and, well, special delivery indeed. Let's go talk to him. That, that thing you have, the snowball. Would you give it to me? I dropped it while making a delivery and I've been looking for it ever since. Dude, there's snow all around us. Just make a new snowball. I don't know what's so special about that snowball in particular, but we got Delibird as a friend, one of the weakest Pokemon of all time. It isn't much, but I'd like to give you these in return. And we get some kind of present. Hopefully it's not an explosive perma snow. Okay, I'm getting a present ready for you, so come back again sometime. I will do just that. So there is still one more dude to befriend here. Let me see if I can... Ooh, there's a vast white quill up there as well. Hmm. Wait, I think I see how to get that quill. Let me go back over this way. I think we might be able to double jump right here with Snivy. Let me go and get this box real quick. See what that is. Stinky Berry. Okay. Yeah, let's swap over to Snivy and see if we can actually get up there and get that quill. I haven't actually kept count of how many quills I have, but I will be getting all of them at some point. Let's go up here and grab that. And I guess while we're up here, let's go get some golden berries. What the crud? How many are those worth? Looks like they're worth 100, maybe? Yeah, those are 100. That's amazing. Oh, crud. I hit it again. We get even more berries, but these ones are all just green. Can we keep hitting it? No, okay. Right, so the other friend, we need Scraggy, we need Blossom. I think those guys are in the other area. I think here, though, we could probably still find Sock if we're careful with our looking. We've also got this crudder. Let's go talk to them, I guess. Hey, buddy. Nice timing. Do you have any Everflames? I'd like you to share a few with me. First, look at this flame here. Ooh, sparkly. Well, I guess fire's not really sparkly, but whatever. What do you think? Isn't it magnificent? I need 30 Everflames so this fire will burn forever. If you share them with me, I'll take you to a shrine. I A shrine? Okay. Um, wait, I actually had 30? <laughs> what? That's the first time I've ever had the items I needed. Holy crud. So we befriended Mandibuzz. There we go. And I guess we're gonna get to go to some fancy shrine. Well, so much for befriending Sock. We're going for a field trip, dude. What? Okay, there's two Mandibuzz, actually. I guess we're too large for one Mandibuzz to carry us. But let's go check out this shrine. And I'm looking, since we're kind of high up here, I was looking around to see if I could see Sock, but I don't see him. And it looks like it's another one of these shrines. It's a Tornadus, or I think this one's Thunderous, actually. What do you think? It's a pretty nice place, isn't it? Talk to me when you want to go back. So I don't know if we can do anything with these right now, but we saw a shrine to another one a while ago. It's an old building, there's a picture of a Pokemon on it. So I'm guessing these shrines are going to be important at some point, but for now, I don't think we can do crud with it. Except for get vast white quills, I guess. See, so yeah, I'm sorry, Mandibuzz, but just take me back. We got a quill, we got him as a friend, so I guess that's something. But the shrine, unless I'm doing something wrong, I think we just have to wait for a while before we can do that. Okay, let's keep looking around and see if we can find Sock. And you know what, since we went through that little cutscene, I wonder if the berries that are on this tree came back. I'm gonna go and hit it again, see if I can get more gold berries. Nope, it's not gonna be that easy, okay. Well, there's a little side area over here. We got Vanillite. Uh, they're not my friend though, so let's talk to him. Oh, it's so hot. I came here because it looked fun, but now I'm so dizzy, I feel faint. I need cold air, carry me. Okay, another carrying thing. Uh, I'd be really happy if you could carry me up the slope to where the sign is. All right, so once again, we should probably be doing this with uh, Tepig, but I guess we're gonna do it as Snivy, who is very, very slow. We're almost there, guys. It's right there. I'm guessing that's the sign he wants me to take him to. I don't know why he wants to go near a sign. That's kind of awkward. What that crud vanilla light? Can you even read? I mean, I guess he does have eyeballs, and he kind of has arms. I don't think arms are that important for reading, but he's got them. 
Whew, that feels great. Thank you. I'm okay now that we're here. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. I just wanted to be near the sign. You can go away. I'll chill out here. Thank you so much. Well, we got Vanillite now. That's pretty nifty. I was not expecting to get Mandibuzz and Vanillite today. I was trying to get Sock, but I guess I'll take this. But you know what, guys? We had our first episode in the crag area, finally trying to make some friends, and we're up to 18. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We didn't get Sock. Maybe we'll get him next time. I don't know. But I think next time we'll probably come back and go to different parts of the crag area and try to make more friends there. Because if we look at the friend list, we can see there's a gigantic amount of question marks right here above Garchomp. And I'm guessing a lot of those are going to be in the other part of the crag area. Not to mention, I want to be friends Scraggy really bad. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.